Okay, so looking at global warming in ProQuest, I'm just going to see, grab some articles here. Again, I'm just going to narrow down. So I'm looking at uh, just, just a few articles. Now ProQuest, again, I can go into an individual one. Oh, sorry, all options. And there we go. So what you might have noticed when I went to the site option is that it talks about how it's by RefWorks. RefWorks is a competitor of EndNote which means unfortunately they, that because ProQuest is the same company that owns RefWorks, they make it a lot easier to get it into RefWorks than to get it into EndNote. So you kind of have to hunt for a little bit in some databases, but they'll always be an option. And in this case, it's under all options, EndNote. So that should be downloading it. Yeah, there we go. All right, so it's the rise option. I can say what I want. In this case, there's no other option and continue and it will download that for me to then open up an endnote there we go there it's appearing in the corner and i can import that so we'll take a look at this and see how it compares now one thing i noticed right off the bat is we can see that this one imported the doi with the dx.doi at the beginning of it either is correct just need to be consistent and I think in the other one, we just started it from the 10 dot. So as long as you're consistent in how you've got presenting your DOIs. So just something to keep an eye on. This one, the formatting all looks okay. Make sure I don't have any um, capital issues and save that. And there we go. We've got our preview mode happening there. I would attach the PDF, file it if I need to and keep going. Again in ProQuest, I can, let's go back to my results, I can select multiples and choose to export them. So if I want to choose a couple here, then up at the top here, we can see we've got options to, once again, oh, see, they make it really hard. There we go. Oh, it's under most popular now. Rise. Export all the options. This time, maybe I'll deselect when done and continue. So now it's going to do the same thing. Bring the download window. When it's finished, pop up the thing. There it is. And open them up, and all three will import for me. And there they are. So as you can see, you have to fix some things up when you import them. Not all the time. This one, the DOI, has that funny format again, so I might want to change that. Um, but again, that depends on your style and your preference. If you're always using ProQuest and it's okay to leave it as the HTTP, then that's great. And maybe you'd want to change the other ones to be the HTTP. <laughs>